Um, I'm Jane Hodson. I'm a lecturer in English language and literature. I'm a feminist in my work. Uh, one of the writers I work on is Mary Wollstonecraft, who wrote A Vindication of the Rights of Women, uh, which can lay claim to perhaps be one of the earliest, if not the earliest, bit of feminist writing. She's fantastically interesting. She was writing at the time of the French Revolution and she took the idea of the rights of men and sort of said, oh, well, hang on, if we're applying the rights of men to all men, shouldn't we also apply them to women? And began to think about what it would look like applying the rights of men to women and, and thinking about issues such as women's education, uh, women's concern with their appearance, women's uh, marriage, uh, what women did after marriage and their relationship with their children and things. Um, I'm also a feminist uh, because I now have two daughters um, and it's really interesting bringing daughters up when you're a feminist and thinking about how those two activities relate. I think when I had children I was ready for the whole pink thing with girls and the whole Disney princess things and I could talk about those. What's really shocked me though is particularly children's television, CBB, CBBs, the BBC. Uh, you'd think it would be, be fairly good and fairly neutral. But if you look at any of the programming on any given day, there's a huge amount of programs that are named after male characters. You've got Postman Pat, Tree Food Tom, um, Fireman Sam, uh, lots of lots of programs that are named after male characters, but very, very few that are named after female characters. And I think there's this assumption that goes right through our society that women can be expected to read texts as men or to watch programs about male characters, but men don't really watch programs um, with female leads in quite the same way. And then even when you get um, programs with lots of characters in them, very often the treatment of men and women is unequal. A program called Octonauts, for example, which my children absolutely adore, has five male characters in it. You've got the brave one, the leader one, the, um, the scientist one, the really brainy one, but only two characters who are female. And one of them is sweet and kind of a secretary. The other one is an engineer, which is cool, but because she's an engineer, she always stays back at the base. And in fact, a lot of the stories have the, the sweet one, the engineer one, stay back at the base and the male characters all go off and have an adventure. Um, so, I, you know, I think thinking about that, thinking about how my children relate to that, thinking about the lack of choices that my girls have for really cool female characters that lead their own TV programmes or take active roles where there's a range of characters, all of these things make me a feminist.